When you hear the word outsourcing, where does your mind immediately go? Probably not the best places, right? Well, here's the deal. A lot has changed in the last few years within outsourcing, and it's now completely a different game than what you'd expect. Don't get me wrong. The definition of outsourcing really hasn't changed all that much over the years. It's still an agreement where one company will go to another company to handle some sort of task or activity that could technically be done internally. But the who, the where, and the what all drastically changed over the years. And look, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that outsourcing is the best thing in the world and that you need to act fast and call the number on your screen and in the next 24 hours and all you need to do is pay shipping and handling, you'll get the best outsourcing of your life. No. What I am here to say is that nowadays outsourcing is probably a very different situation than what you expect it to be. So today I wanna to look at the top three biggest misconceptions or myths surrounding outsourcing and dispel them. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Myth number one, only big companies need to outsource. Okay, this is probably one of the biggest ones. You know, when you first hear the word outsourcing, your mind probably goes to those really big companies and you think, oh yeah, they're the ones that are sending their jobs somewhere else or they're only handling that overseas or something like that. You know, the little guys, the small businesses, they would never outsource, right? But come on, it's 2021 or whenever you're watching this video, shout out to my friends in 2031. Hey, do we have flying cars yet? Anyway, point is, outsourcing isn't just for the big guys anymore. Sure, plenty of them do outsource, and that's not going to really change in the next few years, but what has changed is who else is outsourcing. I'm talking about small businesses, startups, and businesses that are maybe just a little bit past the startup stage, but aren't really at the top right now. And check this out. Research from Clutch found that in 2018, more than a third of small businesses outsourced some sort of business process with... 52% planning to do so in the coming years. That was back in 2018. We're in 2021 right now, so it's only grown. The point is, outsourcing isn't limited to the big guys anymore. The entire business landscape has changed in the last few years, and the small guys, the startups, and the smaller businesses are jumping on board the outsourcing train. Myth number two, outsourcing only involves call centers and tech support. This is another one of those really top level myths that a lot of people think of when they think of outsourcing. Your mind instantly goes to those big call centers or tech support, right? Well, that's not necessarily the truth anymore. The research from Fortunately actually found that the most commonly outsourced jobs in small businesses are accounting and IT. Now, call centers and tech support do make up a pretty sizable chunk of what people outsource for, but if you just limit your scope of what outsourcing is to just those two areas, you're actually neglecting an entire field that a lot of people are using to pretty great effect these days. What I'm talking about is called back office support, and it's an entirely different ballpark. To some of you watching, the idea of back office support is probably nothing new. This is stuff like data entry, payroll, things like that. But beyond that, there's actually outsourcing and things like content moderation and image editing. I mean, you probably never even thought of having your Photoshop work outsourced, right? But realistically, it is a thing that people are doing nowadays. Outsourcing isn't just limited to tasks that we used to think of it as. It's evolving and growing as we do with our businesses. Myth number three, outsourcing only happens in a single call center or a single location. This one is one of those things that has really transformed in the last few years. Now, 2020 was interesting. But besides being a uh, waking nightmare, 2020 showed us that we don't all have to be in the same building to get work done. Now, the same exact principle is applying to the outsourcing world nowadays. A lot of companies are moving to what's called a hybrid approach to outsourcing. Now, in this model, some agents will report to a single location, like a call center, but the others will work from home. Now, a lot of companies, ourselves included here at Support Ninja, have seen pretty great success from this idea. So while you may have this picture in your head of what you think outsourcing looks like inside of a single big building or something like that, it realistically has transitioned into something completely different and something modern at that. And there we go. Hopefully now you've got a better understanding of how outsourcing is in 2021 and now it's a very different thing than what you probably initially thought it was. But if you are interested in outsourcing and you just want to learn more, or maybe you know somebody that is, follow the link in the description of this video and check out our website to learn a little bit more. All that being said, I am Jack from Support Ninja. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share your own thoughts about outsourcing, and I will see you in the next one.